hello and welcome to the tutorial of multiplexer from this tutorial mm, we are going to learn how to implement the hardware behind the multiplexer and how to implement logic functions using multiplexer basically a multiplexer is a combination of circuit uh, that selects binary information from many input lines it selects only one and direct it to a single output line remember a single output line basically there are as you can see here there are 2 to the power n input lines and n selection lines whose bit combinations determine which input is selected now mm, here mention one thing that n is the selection line so for 2 to 1 line multiplexer as we can see there is one selection line and two input lines and only one output lines the internal circuit of this multiplexer is like this so when s is, is equal to 0 the one input goes to the upper AND gate so when s is equal to 0 the upper AND gate is enable this input and the input 0 this input has a path directly to the output as you can see here and for the next one this for go back there for 4 to 1 line multiplexer we will have circuit like this this multiplexer has 4 input lines and 2 selection lines the internal circuit of this multiplexer will be like this for 0 0 the upper AND gate gets to 1 and the input 0 directly goes to the so for 8 to 1 line multiplexer the block diagram will be like this it has 8 input lines and 3 selection line as only one output line for 8 to 1 line multiplexer this table will be for input 2 the selection line has to be 0 1 0 this is 0 1 1 let's get it quick 1 1 1 0 0 1 and 0 1 0 okay so the internal diagram of 8 to 1 line multiplexer will be like this for I input 0 the selection line should be 0 0 and 0 now it's time for us to design or implement a logic functions using multiplexer so here is a function that says the sum of product is 1 2 6 and 7 for 1 we can write 0 0 1 means x bar y bar z plus for 2 it's going to be x bar y z bar and similarly that in step 2 we have to design the true table for designing this multiplexer the truth table will be like this only output f will respond at 1 2 6 and 7 as you can see here 1 2 6 and 7 in the step 3 we just have to connect these lines this x y z is the selection line is 0 s 1 s 2 and the input lines 0 1 0 to 7 will only have one in as you can see here we design this <coughs> boolean function with 8 to 1 line multiplexer now if someone told us to design it with 4 to 1 line multiplexer so how it should be done let's see for 4 to 1 line multiplexer we have to select two selection line and the input line will be 4 so now let's select the selection line x and y so we have to find the output f in terms of z as you can see for 0 0 when z is equal to 0 f is 0 for 1 it's 1 so for this two combination we have f is equal to z for 0 1 for 0 1 selection sorry for 0 1 input lines the number 1 input line this is number 0 this is number 1 number 2 number 3 for number 1 input line 
we have the selection line 0, 1 for xy, 0, 1 for xy is when z is equal to 0 if it is inverted and goes 1 when z is equal to 1 f is 0 so we can write f is equal to z bar and similar for these two combination we have f is equal to 0 and for this f is equal to 1 so we can design the multiplexer as a selection line s0 s1 is going to be x and y and the input lines first now for exercise 2 we have this logic function f x y z is a product of sum of 0 2 5 and 6 so try to fill up this truth table pause the video or do it with me so 0 0 0 it has a output response for 1 for 2 it has a response for 5 this is going to be 5 and for 6 and the other output section will be 0 0 0 so this should be 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 and 0 let's check this out yes it's done what if someone again asks you to design this logic function using 4 to 1 line multiplexer? What should we do now? Let's select y and z as a selection line. So we have to find uh, y and z as a selection line. So we have to find f in terms of x for 0, 0 for 0 0 combination when x is equal to 0 f is 1 when x is equal to 1 f is 0 so if we can write f is a is equal to x bar for the combination of 0 0 so this dash will be x bar for 0 1 as a selection line 0 1 0 and when x is equal to 0 f is 0 when x is equal to 1 f is 1 so this is going to be f is is equal to x for 1 0 1 0 selection line when x is equal to 0 f is 1 when 1 f is also 1 so the number to this f is is equal to 1 when the selection line is 1 1 and 1 1 when x is equal to 0 f is 0 when x is equal to 1 f is 1 so this is going to be 0 so we can as you can see here this is x bar x 1 0 so thanks for watching the quick tutorial on multiplexer